Progressive Philadelphia DA Larry Krasner, who was impeached last year for his controversial crime policies, slammed Republican legislators during a post-mass shooting press conference on Tuesday after a mass shooting in the city the day before. The gunman killed five people, injured several others on Monday night. The individual was reportedly wearing a ballistic vest and had an AR-type rifle, as well as multiple magazines. The DA blasted Republicans for recently wearing lapel pins to support the Second Amendment. And it is time for everybody in our legislature, including the ones who would like to walk around with an AR-15 lapel pin, it is time for every one of them to face the voters. And if they're not going to do something, then the voters are going to vote them out. Because that's what that lapel pin means. It means vote me out. I am against you, and I am against your safety. Is that effective, though? Let's check in with Scotty Nell Hughes, former Trump campaign sur surrogate and conservative political strategist. John Fugelsang, comedian and host of Tell Me Everything weekday mornings on Sirius XM's Progress Channel. And Kieran Chetri, former CNN and Fox News Channel anchor. John, good strategy? I don't know. I mean, it'll work for some people, it'll work for others. But in the age of AR-15s, people already believe what they want to believe, and there's not a lot of minds to be made up. I fear that everyone is going to have to have someone they love get shot before we take this seriously, because there is no civilian purpose for this hardware. But, Kieran, it seems to me like every time after some sort of mass shooting, it's the same kind of discussion and debate, right? Yeah. With the right saying, don't go there, too soon, too soon, and the left saying, this too shows late. you again... It's time, you know, long overdue time for gun control, et cetera. And, you know, I, I, I'm sort of at a loss to figure out is it effective? Is it a good idea for him to, to do that? Well, first of all, I, I just think the lapel pin with the AK, you know, AR 15 is tacky. You know, yeah. I mean, it, it's tacky either way because, I mean, people have lost loved ones. Right. And uh, there, there has been a huge uptick in gun violence you know, in these mass, sh mass shootings that have taken place. I mean, you, you, you uh, looked at my phone on July 5th, and it's unbelievable. There's, like, however many people dead in one night. Yeah. Um, however, we do all tend to uh, forget that we have laws on the books right now, and they're not doing any good. And this is a guy who already got in trouble for gun possession. He, he had a gun. Um, he had drugs on him. This is in 2003, and he had, he had an unlicensed firearm. He ended up getting in trouble for one of them. The other two charges were dropped, three years probation, boom. And it doesn't happen in a vacuum. This is a guy who's posting um, on social media. He posted a picture of a police car in flames, you know, with a with graffiti on it, anti-police graffiti. Um, his, his friends and family felt yeah. that he was obsessed with guns. And, and an there's a mental health. Party is there's a fighting. mental health component. A whole political party is fighting for that deranged man to have easy access to no, a no, 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 it's designed to kill lots of people really fast. Well, yes, and he AR did have easy AR-15 is entertainment. They are easy to get. They should not be easy for civilians to get. And I think, look, maybe the DA there... Perhaps he's just doing that to win back some good grace with the public after his problems last year. But I agree with what he said. Well, I'll, the, the other the, thing, too, is that the, this is not... You can't just go into a store and pick out your, you know, your, your automatic right, but gun. I, look, I wonder, though, whether... You know, that all the talk about gun control, it is hard to show the effectiveness of gun control, right? The, the, the response to we the... had a 10-year ban on these well, weapons and, and the mass and, shootings and, went and, down. And, There's and, data. Yeah, but, the, well, There's when you numbers. compare it but to today... But society has changed. But, yes, exactly. That, that's the bans so, were in. That's but a when difference they were banned, the mass shootings But society has changed. Once again, Krasner, this is passing the buck. But, like you stated, do they really want a solution? Unfortunately, so, like so many issues, whether we're talking immigration, abortion, now we're talking gun control, neither side of those in power, the politicians, want a solution, I feel like, because when they have the opportunity, when they have the power, they don't well, do it. Well, that's but because, that's because they're not willing to compromise, right? Because they want all or nothing. And that's the same thing with immigration. The reason we cannot get anything on immigration passed is because it's either entirely my way or... Oh, no, nope, we're not going to agree. Because and that's, it's beneficial and that's, to have that argument on, continue it. That you've well, particularly lots of for money. the right on immigration. Exactly, on immigration, on both sides. Well, it's, but no, but on immigration, it's more the right. On immigration, it's a great issue for the right to keep saying we've got these porous borders, we've got this. When it comes to actually legislating, 
They don't want to do much they that involves anything. Our economy would collapse. Well, Donald Trump well, has been hiring undocumented but, people since the uh, 80s. It's a racket they pull on conservatives. But from folks. the Democrat standpoint on immigration, they love this issue because they can continue to paint Republicans as being cold-hearted. But I don't know that it's effective. It, it, I, it, think well, it Republicans Republicans actually, I think Republicans actually win on the immigration issue with the public in the general. Bu but Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.